欢迎回到中国文化学院，我们一起学习中国语言、文字、文化和历史。Welcome back to Mr. He's Chinese class. We learn the Chinese character, language, culture, wisdom, and history together. 今天我们是第五堂课的 Doubling the vocabulary, 自知其非，水知死。Right, let's start it. <coughs> the first one is a shui go or go. You can just use go or shui go. It's the same thing, stitch. Because you see, horizontal and the vertical, all kinds of direction, small lines. That's the ditch. Shui go. I didn't、um, introduce this character into when we talked about mu. If you replace this water with mu on this side, that is construction, carpentry, because in ancient time you you build a house or whatever construction you use wood as the main thing to make the frame. Right, okay. Let's extend it. So you go because this part pronounces go. If you replace the hall, that's the fire you make when you're hiking or when you're camping outside in the wild area. That's called go hall. All right. <laughs> We have mu, we have ho, mu, ho, tu, jin. Now we are getting to shui. Right? They are the the pronunciation all come from this part. Okay. And the second one is guan, rolling. So again, the pronunciation come from the right part. Guan is rolling. 滚滚向前 ，or 滚动 ，moving， 动 and 进啊、uh, ，they are pair， remember， alright， 滚动，滚滚向前 ，rolling towards the front， 向前，向后，向左，向右，向上，向下，方向 ，that's direction。I'm just just reviewing whatever it's coming to my mind. I think we taught it before, right? We have to, we have learned it before. And then just, so you you got to be really focused, all right? Okay. 滚动 This is rolling like a ball. Another kind of moving is 晃动 shaking. But there's two kind of shaking. This is more related to the guang. Remember the guang. And this is the man. Light. When something is moving, you feel like the lighting is flashing. But this is more when you add water on the left side. 加上三点水 it's going to be like shaking a smoothie or a soap or a, a, a water or something like liquid in a container and move shaking. 晃动 All pronunciations, 晃动或者晃动 should be actually here. If we use it as a verb, it should be pronounced as forced tone. Should be 晃动 Let me see if I could do it. See, not working, not for working for C, or not even working for D. Let me what happened here. Huang, this one should be the same. Okay. 
OK， let's put it back. This is a 晃动 This is a 晃动 This is shaking. It's different situation. OK. This is water. Something related to water. Another character is Mia Wang. Mia. Remember we said uh. Here's a fire, and you put something on top of it, and you use the outside as a metal. First of all, you use the higher level that's down, and then you use water to put it to distinguish, to extinct it. That's me one, me, or get rid of. And this is the true. Get rid of it. True, me wang or me true is different meaning, but uh, the fundamental, the center is me. Extinct it, extinguish it, distinguish it. Put it out, put it out. That's me. Ji, ji means arouse, or stir. Or make it excite. Ji, ji do, exciting. Ji do. When you stir it, when you push it, give a push, give a stir, it's moving. It's called ji do. When your heart is moving, but something you think or but something somebody say or do, you get a emotional. Ji dong means exciting and emotional. Dong jin de dong, right? Fa means start. Chu fa. Fa dong. Fa. It's irritated and start. It's the same kind of thing. Ji qi means stand up. Qi means stand up, right? Ji qi. Ji ji dong. Ji fa. Ji qi. Okay. And then you make a semicolon here because they are kind of different. May. This is kind of, uh, this is a pair of this yo. Yo means you have or has. Remember, this is a hand. Grab a piece of meat. The variation time. Hunting. You harvest something. You hunt something. You got something that you yell at your head. Usually, it's a piece of meat, a rabbit, a wolf, a deer, or whatever at the meat. This is you don't have. Wash away. Because on the right hand, right hand side is. You pick up something, trying to do it, but it's washed away by the by water. So this is opposite pair with this yo. Or you can say nowadays all in uh, Chinese the mei yo. No problem, mei shi. It's a situation or something or matter shi, right? Mei yo. Have you done that, mei yo? I'm sorry, I, I did something wrong. 没事 no problem. It's all right. 没事 If something's never end, it's 没完没了完了 It's another word. It's end. It's finished. It's never end. Endless. 没完没了 <coughs> Excuse me. 没完没了 But the same exact character can can be pronounced a different tone. May also could be pronounced as more. This is water. Mm, come over to cover it. Take it away. Confiscate it. More so. Or yen more. This is a big water come. Mm, a, a big flood come. Cover everything. All the fence 
appear or disappeared or merge under the water. That's called Yan Mo. Or when there's an earthquake, Chen Mo. This is Chen. Chen Mo, going down. But nowadays we can write this Chen in this way too. Chen Mo, sink. Right. Chen Mo, Yan Mo. That's all. The, all at uh, that time, we pronounce as Mo. Totally disappear. Totally taken away. All right. Qian, shallow. So you want to put the uh, uh, taken notes here. On right part, I think I explained before once. On right part, means very small, few things together. Not too many, a few things. You put water, not too, mu too much water, that's shallow of the water. Qian, original meaning is a very few penny together. It's not big money. In China, ancient Chinese, when you're talking about a lot of money, you're talking about silver, yin, or you're talking about gold, jin. You're talking about Qian means it's a very small amount of money. But nowadays it's extended the meaning to to a general meaning to money. Right? It's a general meaning money. Because it, it, anyway, everybody, everybody, every everyday people's money is not that much. That's called Qian. If you have a lot. In English you would call it wealth. In Chinese way, you if you if you have in jing in that you have a lot of money. So small, this is a small amount of money because it's very small on this side. And you you put this here, in the middle you see this, this is a bay, that, that, that's shell, seashell. Because the ancient times seashell had been using as money for a long time. So that symbolizes wealth, or symbolizes money, or symbolizes wealth, and symbolizes rich. But you have a, you have a, this, just a little bit, and not that dignified, not that noble, or your social status is low. That's the basic meaning of this character, pronounced as jie. The same as this. J I A N, fourth tone. Jie. And the opposite is Gui. Nobles or people on the high level. It's Gui. Low level. It's called Jie. And the extended meaning is if you are not respect yourself, you behave like you're worth nothing. That's a negative way to say jie. If you add water, then <laughs> the meaning change to be splash onto others. A splash, a, a drop, a drop, a, a cup of coffee, or the coffee psh, splash in, in my, you know, arm or on, on my clothing. That's called jie. Or there's a water and somebody drive by. Psh, the water come that that's called the gen too. But without this, that means you don't treat people. It it it, it describe used to describe the social status is low, not rich, uh, no power. There's no it's a neutral meaning. But I mean, if this character used to describe somebody who doesn't treat himself or herself with dignity. That's called Jian too. Got it? Okay. All right, let's uh, move on. Qian, Qian Xian. Because the shallow so is it's easy to see it. Or once you write this, uh, this passage or your article, it's so easy. To read is changing, 
or this kind of a principle. This kind of situation is easy to understand. It's very easy for people to see it because it's a show off very easily. It's called Qian Xian. Xian means show off. Xian Shi, right? Xian Shi. Show off. Xian. Qian Xian. It's easy to say and easy to see. It's called a Xian R. Use this R. E Jian to see. Xian or Yi Jian. That's a very common used Chang Yu. Somebody if somebody is easy to jealous. And in Chinese we say this person has a Yan Chen. It, 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 he is or she is a Yan Chen because her eyes are so shallow. Could not embrace big things, yan qian, or a very short eyesight, cannot see something long term. Yan qian, use the qian, all right. Or you can use the, you can create your own cap, uh, where it's called xin qian. If this uh, this person doesn't have a big heart, easy to jealous. That's called xin qian too. You can use this. Or chen bo bo means very thin. Big one is hole. We talked about hole before, right? Thick. It's a hole. H O U. Opposite of it is called a bo. It's thin, very thin. Chen bo, shallow. So far so good. All right. Chen bo now. Qian low, this low is doesn't look good. It's very simple, it's too too simple. Not really formal. Doesn't look uh, well. That's called qian low. That's a combination of the qian. Okay. <clears throat> I think I should pick put a semicolon here. The fix is another set. Jing. Originally, this uh, this 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 character means somewhere near a water. Usually, it's uh, on the big river, um, or near or near the sea. That's a ferry or a port. That place called a Jin. Means have some water. Okay, <clears throat> little city in China is called Tianjin. Because it's a, it's near the sea, but it's called also close to where the Son of Heaven called Tianzi live in, which is Beijing. So that place called Tianjin. It's an area, a geographic area. Jin. Or the very common used Cheng um, called Jinjin. You always meet that. The water on your in your mouth. It's called a Jin Ye. That's a very uh, old term in Chinese medicine. That's water, right? We talked about this capital Ho. If you don't have water in your mouth on your tongue, on your tongue, you're dead, or you or you're dying. That water is called Jin Ye. That's Tianjin the Jin. <clears throat> if you're very healthy, or you eat something you, you really like it, that kind of situation we use this term to to, to describe it. It's called Jin Jin Yu Wei. It's a lot very tasteful. Okay. <clears throat> Here comes another character, which is Jiu. Alcohol. Jiu. The pronunciation comes from this part. Pronounced as Jiu. Y O U. Dissension. Yo. Original meaning of this character is the pottery to contain 
and alcohol. Or vinegar. Or soy sauce. But originally, they are all connected because it's, you needed to, to do, make it, uh, use certain um, micro, microorganisms. to trigger a chemical reaction by using either rice or wheat to generate different way or different time, different uh, a protocol you make. Either alcohol, vinegar, or soy sauce. So that's how vinegar is written like this has this yo in it because that's a container. Jo the alcohol. Soy sauce. It's written like this. It's called a jiang yo. You have yo here, right? Jiang yo. If you like Chinese food, you go to Chinese restaurant, you want to, you want to, you want to when whenever you go to Chinese restaurant you you want to remind all this thing. That's a way to practice, to have fun. And you can talk to people that's how to write or how to say that. That that's another way to do to practice it. Have fun. To learn. Okay. <clears throat> jiu, also called the jiu shui because it's, it's liquid. So now I, did, I I don't think I mentioned to you guys. Originally this is Sandian Shui Shui means but whatever is liquid. Usually the character come with this as a bushel. All right. So that's a that's the principle. I just introduced to you now. So jiu shui, it's not really shui, but it's 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 a liquid. It doesn't cons consist by big portion number shui, but it's not pure word. It's not pure words already, right? Jiu. But the essence of the alcohol called Jiu Jing. We talked about this gym before, right? This is me rice. Because this is the essence of the crop. Why? Because it contains the mechanism or, or contains all a life need to reborn as a seed. Of course there's Qing here. Sheng Dan, remember? When we were talking about this, when we were talking about uh, this, remember now, right? I don't, I don't want to spend more time over here. Okay. Jiu Jin, that's the essence. Jin. So Jin Shen, we're talking about two parts of a human. This is a material part because you have a crop, you have the Dan. This part is Shen Jing Shen is talking about spirit part. And you have Hun and Pu and Shen, whatever. Or you have a Zhi. And you have Yi, the all part of the spirit. In general, we use the Shen to describe all those things. Do I need to write Hun Po here? Hun. It's a young part of spirit. Living in the liver. Po, that's the yin part of spirit. Live in the feet long. This is the guy. Remember now, right? All right. Jiu Jing. And you have all kinds of alcohol. Red wine. We call it Hong Jiu. That pure alcohol we call it Bai Jiu because it's white. It's clean. But in China, we have another one, it's yellow, Huangju. Usually it's used to cook, but a certain kind of yellow wine, a yellow alcohol can be alcohol like this. So I have different color. Huangju, Baiju, Huangju. There's another one, in, I think in Korea or in Japan, it's called Qingju. Or add water here. It's clean. Okay, but in China there's another kind of uh, alcohol. The color looks like the 
the color of the bamboo leaves. Bamboo leaves. Bamboo. Pronounced as a zhu, right? Leaves. Yes. That kind of called zhu ye qing because it's it's a green, very beautiful kind of greeny color. So all kinds of color. Grapple and Pu Tao And you can use apple to make alcohol as ping guo You use pear to do the leaves. All kinds of things. You can add, you can just play with it, okay? Add different things, but uh, uh, the, the center character is Joe. When people or family or friends are together, have a party, they have drink, they have fun, they have a lot of fun, they're happy. That is a one chan yu to describe this ba jiu ba. Hold it. Yen speaking, happiness. Yen huan means, huan means happy, happiness. Ba jiu yen huan. There are some people, they want to do something that they're lacking of guts. They're not they're not strong enough. So want to drink. Make me feel okay, I'm good, I'm big because you you you, you drink. You kinda of lost your mind. And the yi jiu strong means strong. Dan is go. G A L L. Go. It's, it's an organ close to your liver, close to gan. Chinese ancient medicine believe this part has a little spirit inside that makes a decision or at least help give that final push or final kick to make a decision. And when people drink, their mind is not there and this take over. It's not that to do something. All right. You all have, uh, at least you see it in the movie or you have that experience before, right? And usually in daily life, you dare not to do it, dare not to say it. You drink something, so, okay, I'm gonna do it anyway. That's the yi jiu, zhong dan, all right? Qian, qian lo, shallow, more, drawn. okay, you, you see that. I, I didn't mention this, but you can see it. I want you to forget about the translation. But some some somehow uh, still need to to help you guys understand, right? Maybe because uh, my uh, pronunciation in English is not that good, but I want to make it over here, okay? But if you know it, ignore it, ignore it as much as you can. Just understand and learn the Chinese from the Chinese character. That's the most important way. I'm I'm it's it's never enough to emphasize it. Don't go the way to translate in your mind. But if you need translation, you need a Chinese English dictionary or whatsoever, go ahead. But I just want to let you know that you want to go, you want to try to jump off the, off, off, off that cart, that track to the way to learn Chinese in Chinese. That's important. It make you feel it may make you feel harder slower but eventually it's better it's faster it's smarter all right oak lost line chida desolate desolate so sad sadness so lonely that kind of feeling liang means cool down liang cool it's not that kind of cool it's too cool to feel cold, that kind of cold and then cool, okay? But it, it come, the pronunciation come from the, the right part of the pronunciation come from this. Qi means wife. Why? Right? This is, uh, underneath is a, a girl. When it's mature enough, there's a hand. You want a hand and put something on top. Put up your hair. 
That's the original meaning of a wife. Or a girl can be a wife, can be married, because before marriage, the hair is done. The marriage is put up and just one the stick. It's called a zanzi in Chinese. That's a very formal uh, uh, expression. A zi. Or if the husband has, is an official or their family is in certain high level, it's called a fu ren. <clears throat> but now they will use that in daily life. You can, if you're a man, you introduce your wife to some others in Chinese. You can, this, this is my qi or this is my fu ren. It's okay. Or even tai tai. Right. You, 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 are, you are familiar with this. Is. Tai Tai means somebody is bigger in your family. A bigger, a little bit of one dot bigger than big. This is Da, right? So this is the biggest man, biggest person in the family. Uh, it's a kind of show respect, but it's not, if it's real situation, it's not good. Because the yin and yang has to be balanced. You is the yang lead the whole family. But right now it's the other way around, which is not correct according to the Chinese traditional culture and the way we look and leave. But it's, it, it, it's messed. Anyway. But you can use this to describe. Qi, qi, fu ren, tai tai. That's the same meaning. Translation to the same thing. But a different kind of a layer of meaning. Okay. That's one uh, very common uh, used to cheng yu is qi. If you say, I have a big family, I have a wife, I have um, kids, boys and girls, and also I, I also I need to support my, uh, my parents and my wife's parents. So a big family is called, you have a qi, ar, ar means you have a boy, uh, boys and girls, kids, lao means parents, both sides. And Xiao means the, uh, it's just making it four characters together. When you read it, sound, tune production, better. That's the beauty of a Cheng Yu. Qi er lao xiao. Right. If you add, replaces water with, with the wood, that's something can, uh, related to a house. Carpentry, remember. That's the perch. Qi xi. You want to take a break there? There's a place. This qi means this is the place you can stay there and take a break. Take a break. Calm down. Or the place. Habitat. Qi xi di. Where is our qi xi? Qi xi di. Where is the place we can qi xi? Or where is the place we call the qi xi di? That's our home or a house, or whatever, your apartment. But eventually you're gonna find your own place, your own qi xi di, here or there. Your choice. All right, that's all for today. And see you next week. Jin Jin